guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in Zurich it is grey and cold and just a little bit miserable so I'm wearing my nice fluffy scarf to keep me cosy. And the topic I am covering today, I put in my stories poll a few days ago and I got a huge response in relation to this one and that is how to make your own Lightroom presets in the mobile app. And I'm also going to show you quickly at the end how to create or how to convert your Lightroom desktop presets for mobile as well because it's super duper easy. And just quickly before I get started, if you are having a lot of trouble creating your own presets and you have a certain look and style in mind that you just can't achieve, I actually do have a custom made preset pack that you can purchase in my store. I will link to it in the description up here and yes, I'm available to help you out with that if you need it. But for today, I am going to jump over onto my phone and show you how I edit and then turn my edits into a preset on the mobile app that I can then quickly apply to any other photos I want to edit. I am now in my Lightroom mobile app and I've opened up the photo that I'm going to be working on today. And what I'm going to do first is obviously apply any edits that I'd like to apply to it. So I do have a, another IGTV episode that goes through my editing process in a bit more detail. And today I'm just going to go through it quickly. I will link to the other episode in the description and then I will show you how to save that as a preset. So the first thing I look at is my lighting and usually bring the exposure up a little bit. I bring highlights all the way down, shadows quite a lot of the way up and then maybe for this one I'm going to bring whites down a bit and leave that and then I'm also going to increase the contrast and then I'm going to go into the color tab and look at the temperature and tint so I'm going to make it a little bit a little bit warmer a little bit on the pinker side of this, this the tint scale. Um, what I normally do is bring my saturation down to about minus 30 and my vibrance up. Sorry, <laughs> wrong way around. Down to minus 10 and saturation up. Um, vibrance up to about 30. Just because vibrance is smarter than saturation and it doesn't uh, tend to oversaturate things as much. And then I'm going to go into my color mixer, which is where a lot of the Lightroom magic happens because you have control over the individual colors. Um, so I'm just going to go through each color and adjust it to my liking. And this is going to be different for everybody and the kind of look that you're trying to achieve. So this one, the yellow slider is quite important as you can see it really controls those leaves at the top which I'd prefer to be more orangey and a bit lighter, maybe a little more saturated, greens and we don't really have any aquas in this one. Blue I'm going to bring down and saturate a bit more. Purples probably don't have, oh no, there we go, the water is showing up as purple so. Okay, now I'm probably just going to go and decrease the saturation of the red a little bit now that I've looked at it all properly and I'm pretty happy with that. And usually once I've gone through the mixer I'll actually adjust the these sliders again a little bit because it has a slightly different look now. And then into the effects and into the split tone, so this is where I add a lot of my very pinky tones and I'm just going to add about 10 just maybe less in this one right. 
I could probably bring the exposure down a little bit and the warmth perhaps up a little bit. Okay, so now you can see if I hold that down, you're going to see the before, and then if I let it go, you see the after. So if I now want to save this edit that I've created as a preset. I'm going to simply go up to the top right hand corner where the three dots are and click on that and then there is a button that says create preset which is underneath paste settings and I'm just going to click that and something really important when you're creating a preset is to make sure that you have um, some of these things unticked so Generally, you don't want to copy over linear or radial gradients because that's going to be different for every photo. So untick tools, light. When you go into that, generally I untick exposure because again, this really depends on the photo itself. And if you're flicking between a number of presets and you want to set your exposure, that way it's going to stay correct for all of them you're not going to have to adjust the exposure each time so that's why I do that color I think all of that is fine effects again all of that's fine detail I would leave all of that as well optics so lens corrections I would probably take that on in geometry, I would just leave that as it is. So now we're going to name our preset and I'm going to call it Zurich Autumn and click done. And then I'm going to click the tick button. So now this is a preset that I can simply apply to any other photos I'd like to and now the place I find this if I open a new photo that isn't edited is along the bottom here under the presets tab and you will see that the Zurich Autumn preset is now saved in the bottom there and I'll just show you um, this is another preset I have called Pink Autumn so I click on that it applies that preset and then I can click on this one again and it applies that preset and the tick button and that is it. It is pretty easy and really, really handy for editing and keeping a consistent feed is to just create yourself a few presets. I mean, you don't have to stick to one. I actually have quite a few that I switch between just as long as they are all consistent in the way that they're, the colouring um, works and just the look and feel, I guess. Um, and then I was going to quickly tell you how to convert Lightroom desktop presets over onto mobile as well. And I'm not even going to show you because it's so easy that I can just explain it. So basically when you're in the Lightroom desktop program, you're on a photo that has the preset applied to it. You go file, export, and then you go export as DNG. And that will export out a DNG file, which you then can simply email to yourself, save it into your phone files. Don't try and open it. Your phone will not know how to open it, but save it. And then go into the Lightroom app on your mobile and open the DNG file from there. And once you've got that open, you can do exactly what I've just shown you how to do and you can save it as a preset. And that's how you do it. It's so easy. Now I also had quite a lot of requests for a tutorial on how to make stop motion videos on your phone. So I promise I will be doing that soon, maybe next week for you. So stay tuned and as always I'll keep you updated on stories. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give this video a like and I will see you next week. Bye guys.